continuing to track this line of uh, downpours, but with now some embedded uh, lightning and thunder as we take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar this morning. Most of these lightning strikes still cloud to water strikes. They're just off the coastline this morning off of uh, Aquidneck Island in Jamestown. No doubt uh, hearing the rumbles of thunder, though, and they moved over Block Island now approaching. Uh, parts of Buzzards Bay here this morning, and we see those heavy downpours all the way up Narragansett Bay. Even though we're not finding uh, much in the way of cloud to ground lightning strikes, the further north that you go on this line, Warwick all the way up to the Boston suburbs now getting in on some of this action, and it's slowly shifting towards the east and northeast this morning. So we're going to keep uh, rain and thunder in the forecast moving towards the east here over the next couple of hours. We're still under a flash flood watch. This is exactly why you get these narrow lines here that form. They contain some very heavy downpours leading to very localized flash flooding threats uh, where you may see some street flooding or some poor drainage flooding, even rapid rises in some of the smaller streams as these lines move through short lived. Once it passes, we get back to uh, better travel conditions. Weekend weather. Well, we still have showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. Some dry periods though, too. It's not a complete washout either day. It is going to stay humid right into 4th of July holiday 70 this morning in Smithfield 72 Providence upper 60s Newport and in Westerly view here from city cam poor with the fog and the downpours 69 again Newport 72 in the Taunton area as we take a look at satellite and at radar this morning we are finding war a warm front lifting through notice once this line moves through there's still a few showers developing off to the west but there's also breaks in the cloud cover making it now into New York City we expect at least some partial clearing as the day goes on especially later this afternoon and that'll actually help to fuel any additional storms to try to develop in the afternoon so we'll turn partly sunny Probably a little warmer than yesterday based on getting some of that sunshine. Still seeing the potential here for a few scattered showers or thunderstorms to develop in the afternoon, mostly off to our west. The risk for our area isn't as great, but we are under at least a slight risk for some severe storms with damaging winds. Even the potential, especially you know, more so in the Connecticut River Valley of some rotation within the storm. So a small risk of a tornado there as we head into the uh, evening and overnight hours tonight. Clouds and fog return. There may be a passing shower overnight, but better chance of shower or thunderstorm popping up Saturday afternoon. Now it's mostly two hour west clouds made a little limited sunshine for your day on Saturday temperatures this morning. Well, they'll be slow to climb until we get any breaks of clouds and then we'll jump up into the upper 70s in the afternoon about 78 Providence uh, 77 in Smithfield mid low to mid 70s along the coastline and then those temperatures fall into the 60s during the overnight hours and that's where we stay another very humid and a muggy night on the way. Here's the seven day future cast for us low 80s this weekend. Clouds, sunshine, thunderstorm in spots. Got a barbecue you're trying to plan for the weekend. Keep it. Keep those plans, but Make sure you have a safe place to go in case you get caught in one of those storms. Looking ahead to the 4th of July on Thursday, 86. It looks warm. It looks humid. I don't have any thunderstorms in the forecast, but there's probably about a 15 to 20% chance right now seeing at least an isolated storm in spots. So we'll keep you up.